when we started with refurbishing, uh, it was not a strategic decision then, I would say. It was mainly probably because of, of, of the need to make sure that the equipment would not end up with brokers or with third parties, but will end up with us, and we would be able to reinsert it back into our value chain. Um, however, after 10 years, when we made the acquisition of this company, um, we have seen that it's uh, essential of our marketing plans, for example. And why is a, 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 a crucial part, if you want, of our portfolio? It is because we are able to offer different value propositions with different type of technology at different prices. So it's not just always new, but it's as well pre-owned equipment that uh, can help with standard procedures. That's from the marketing perspective. From the business strategy perf uh, perspective, it is about uh, making sure that all the material, all the equipment that you have put in place will come back because it's not just sometimes the system itself that can be upgrades or can be resources, as we have mentioned before, that could leak and what we want is to bring them back. So in order to do that, you need to have in place, for example, a global return policy where we are working to make sure that all the equipment will come back. You can imagine that a lot of the different components are very appealing, very attractive, and they may stay in the market, they may stay with the customers at, after you know, we exchange the equipment under whatever condition. So we need to avoid that. And therefore, all these uh, activities become strategic for the company. It is about of safeguarding the value that you have created and ensuring that you exploit it to the maximum until the technology is really obsolete or you need to change the materials because, uh, uh, because of safety conditions or any other reason.